Hello, what's up guys? I'm from Peso Smart PH here and welcome sa panabagong episode. Shoutout din sa mga podcast listeners. Appreciate y'all. Today, topic natin is uh, DMCI Holdings Incorporated or yung stock code niya is DMC. Let's jump right into it. So yan, ito yung logo nila basically. Uh, and then, incorporate sila noong March 8, 1995. So, kaedad ko pala to. Almost. And then, uh, holding company sila. Then, nag-consolidate sila ng uh, multiple businesses. Uh, construction component companies yun. And then, uh, related uh, businesses and interests ng Konsunji family. So, sila yung nag-build up nitong uh, brand na to, nitong company na to, nitong enterprise na to. And then, they were listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange back in December 18, 1995. So, on the same year na nabuo itong holdings company na to. So, yung key peep, I mean, key person, not really key people, yeah. Key person dito is si David Gonsunji. So, talaga yung nagsimula nitong uh, lahat ng ito. So, uh, civil engineering graduate siya from UP. Uh, and I think he graduated back in 1945. Then, uh, naging Minister of Transportation and Communication siya uh, noong 70s. Then, noong 2014, uh, yung net worth niya uh, came up to 3.9 billion uh, US dollars. So, times 50, yun na lang. Uh, yun yung katumbas niya in Philippine peso and then he was the sixth richest Filipino at that time however he already passed away uh, back in September 4 to 2017 uh, he was uh, 95 years old and then ayun hindi din disclose ng family kung ano yung cause of death yeah uh, privacy na nila yan. and they wanted to make it uh, confidential Then, ayan, marami silang uh, businesses. Like, maraming, uh, maraming nasa ilalim na itong umbrella na to. So, meron silang uh, company sa construction, residential development. Uh, merong mining. So, uh, focus nila. Main focus is coal and nickel. Meron din power. And then, uh, water services. So, yung mga companies na yan. So, sa construction, uh, yung DM Konsunji Incorporated. Uh, meron sila yan. And then, uh, I think yung uh, grandson. Yung grandson itong si Konsunji. Uh, is, uh, may business din siya na sarili niya. Uh, actually, siya yung ano siya yung husband ni Maggie Wilson. Yeah, trivia lang. And then, sa residential development side naman, uh, DMCA Homes, basically. Like, syempre yung uh, sa construction nila, like yung binubuo nilang uh, mga projects is mostly sa kanila din. So, residential development, mga condo, mga high-rise towers. And then, uh, meron din mga affordable, like mga subdivisions, something like that. And then, uh, sa power, sa kanila din yung uh, Semirara Mining and Power Corporation. Uh, tinitrade din sila sa PSE. SCC yung, uh, yung stock code nila. So, you can check them out. Mataas din sila magbigay ng dividend. So, that's very cool. Then, uh, Power, uh, DMCI, Power Corporation, yung nasa umbrella. And then, uh, water services, uh, nasa kanila yung Maynilad Water Services Incorporated or Maynilad, as we all know it. Tapos, yan. Dito na tayo pupunta sa numbers, the figures. So, at the time of uh, the recording of this video, yung previous close niya yesterday. So, that was uh, June 10. 4.50 yung last price niya. So, medyo nakarecover na siya kasi as you can see, 3.10 yung 52-week low niya. And then, a 52-week high is at 10.74. But I believe nag-exceed na yan uh, uh, around 2017 or 2018. Uh, we're gonna see 
in the next couple of uh, images. Then, uh, and tama naman. No, 2015, 13.8. 2016, 13.26. And 2017, the highest end nila of the year. So, 14.40. 2018, yeah, medyo po ba siya. 12.78. And then, 2019. Uh, I think, uh, isang cost ng pagba nung, uh, nung stock price nila is yung death nga. Uh, nung chairman nila. So, that uh, really... That really affected them. Because she's the leader, right? So when he's gone, he's out of the picture. So the uh, confidence of the investors is not really there anymore. Uh, not, I, I won't say that like totally lost the trust. But like, of course, if the investors are the long-time investors, they uh, pull out. Because uh, they don't know who's going to take over, right? kung paano yung handle yung business yung, and yung businesses nila on this uh, for this matter so sobrang halaga ng leadership uh, yun, sa pag-invest sa mga businesses and then ito yung graph as you can see kung bumili ka ngayon para kang bumili noong 2010-ish yung prices 2010-2011 so yeah i would recommend to buy some if you want to uh at at this uh, very moment and then ito na yung box nila so net income ang mag na lang tayo is 2019 uh and 10.53 billion then, yeah, the investment nila is nasa 15.21. Total assets, 200 billion. And then, yeah, current liabilities, 49.87 billion. Uh, punta tayo sa next one. Ito yung uh, utang nila. So, balance sheet accounts. Uh, balik tayo. So, 2015, 15 billion. 2016, uh, nasa 5.81. 2017, 5.70. Then 2018, 13. Then 2019, 13. Then 13.93 billion. And then steady lang yung uh, long-term borrowing sila. Then... Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, medyo malaki din yung mga utang nila. But I think uh, sustainable naman yung business. Well, sa ngayon. Uh, medyo hindi. So papunta sila sa parang medyo palugi but I don't think na uh, they'll go under naman yun titanin yung next uh, image yan healthy naman yung revenue and then uh, yung taxes paid 1.76 interest expense nila is getting bigger every year almost every year so last year nasa 1.52 billion pesos Lagi din yung depreciation kasi nga ayun ah, puro like uh, construction yung business nila and uh, property development and operating expense that's part of it and then yung kabuan enterprise value nila is nasa one, uh, 113 billion pesos tapos ito yung ay nabang natin lahat uh, dividend sila so consistent naman uh, hindi ito lang na nasa BPI 3 this from 2013 so as you can see consistent naman sila tatlo pa yung binigay noong 2013 noong 2014 ayun uh, sayang yun no kung nag invest na ako noong time na yun 400% yung binigay nila na stock option so that's really nice so for example meron kang 100 so 400% noon. So, bibigyan ka ng additional 400 stocks. That is really nice. Eh, kung gagawin yun sa akin ngayon, I think, uh, yeah, medyo, medyo marami, marami na rin akong uh, naiipon na stocks na shares ng DMC. In 2015, yan, nabibigyan sila ng mga special na yung regular nila na every year din binibigay 2017 2018 2018 tatlo pa nga eh dalawa yung special then last year isang regular lang then isang special and then this year same thing so 
kung i-compute natin yung yield niya uh, for this year compared dun sa current market price niya at 4.5, yield niya is pumapatak na sa 10.67%. So that's uh, pretty big. That's a very good yield kung may liga sa mga dividend, uh, dividend stocks. And yeah, it's pretty consistent naman. And yun nga, nabibay pa sila ng mga special uh, dividends. So, that's very nice. And then, punta tayo sa uh, market news. So, ito. Uh, kaya medyo bumaba yung stocks uh, yesterday. Kasi nag-announce yung uh, Malacanang nito. Return to stricter quarantine is possible. So, uh, sinulat siya ni Alexis Romero ng Philstar Global. So yesterday, yan nag-announce nga sila na pwedeng magkaroon ulit ng, uh, I think, ano na ba yan? Uh, GCQ, right? May game parang MGCQ, something like that. Uh, depende din sa number of persons na, you know, ma-infect pa nung COVID. And then, ayan, uh, may game specific yung instructions and yung parang structure or rules ng quarantine depende dun sa region yun sa lugar niya so NCRs uh, Davao Cebu yung mga major cities and places sa Philippines na medyo densely populated then ito kasi yung stats natin sa ngayon eh. so as of yesterday June 10 nasa 23,732 na yung total number of cases 4.8k yung recoveries and then uh, 1,000 yung deaths. And then yeah. Uh, yung cases per 1 million people is nasa 219. So that's uh, that's not really good. Marami din naman nagka-recover but uh, pagka marami infected then it's just gonna spread more and hindi pa natin alam kung sino talaga yung mga infected lalo yung mga asymptomatic. So, most likely, pabalik na naman tayo dun sa, ano, ano na ba, season 4 ng quarantine. Nung mas strict na quarantine. So, that's not really good news. And then, uh, ito, sinulat ni Iris Gonzalez, uh, galing din sa Philstar Global. Sabi niya, index takes Q from Wall Street decline niya. Yeah, medyo nag-decline din yung, ano, yung stock market na US as I saw and read sa mga news articles ayan uh, nag end kahapon yung PSEI at 6.4k compared to like nasa 6.5 na tayo eh, the other day so 144 points yung nabawas which uh, was 2.19% that's uh, pretty big and then yung all shares uh, 1.96% yung nawala sa kanya almost 2% din so it was down to 3.7k na lang. And then you know wala sa kanya is 75.99 points. That's uh Well, mm, sa mga profit takers, sa mga traders, uh, I think it's kind of good kasi yeah, sila din naman yung kumbaga nag-unload ng stocks eh. So nagtake na sila ng profit nila. And then bawa ulit yung stocks. So makakabili ulit sila ng panibago. So yeah. Yun lang activity nila. And then, uh, the turnover total was 9 uh, billion pesos. And then, uh, 147 losers na ulit tayo. And 55 gainers lang. Uh, it was the other way around the, the past, uh, I think, one and a half weeks. And yeah, uh, 41 issues were uh, unchanged. And then, uh, yun nga, yung global equity markets uh, was really affected by the US stock indices. Uh, na nag end lower nung Tuesday night. So, yeah, the next day. Na din yung Philippine market. Hindi lang yung Philippines na apektuhan eh. So, parang global ano, domino effect. Pagka uh, medyo negative yung uh, performance nung US stock market. Then, ano pa ba? Yeah, I think that would be all. And that would be it for this episode. Ito yung sources natin. 
check out nyo na lang sa description sa baba uh, para makita nyo yung yung mga pinagkunan ko uh, yung uh, mga articles na tinakil natin if you wanna read it uh, in full so ayan and then we're gonna end of course with a quote galing to kay Gary Vaynerchuk So sabi niya, when you realize the world has unlimited resources, you start to not worry about someone else being successful. Yeah. Sinabi niya na ano, he wants to build the uh, the tallest tower without, you know, uh, breaking other, you know, skyscrapers or towers. So, yeah. Uh, bali, yung point lang niya dito is, uh, just focus on yourself. You don't have to, like, hate on other people or, uh, bring down other people just for you to look good and you know look successful that won't really end well for you so yan yeah uh reminder lang to just always focus on yourself and yeah focus on improving your craft and yeah do it every day and yep we're gonna end the episode here uh like and share nyo rin if uh sa tingin nyo trip nyo yung content ko and yeah sana may natutunan kayo. And reminder lang, Tuesday and Thursday tayo nag-upload uh, ng bagong episode. So, subscribe na rin kayo and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new episodes. And yep. Thanks again for watching and listening. Hope you guys have a great day. Yeah. Always remember, be peso smart.